Google CEO Sundar Pichai facing the heat Tuesday on Capitol Hill. House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy setting the tone right from the start. Are America's technology companies serving as instruments of freedom or instruments of control? Members of the House Judiciary Committee Tuesday pushed Pichai to explain Google's data privacy and collection policies, protections to stop its YouTube service from being used to spread violence, hate speech, misinformation, and attempts to sway elections. Pichai also taken to task again and again by conservatives who see Google search results as biased against them. And then there was this exchange with California Democrat Zoe Lofgren. If you Google the word idiot <laughs> under images, a picture of Donald Trump comes up. How would that happen? How does su search work? Pachai's answer, blame the algorithm, not his employees. Anytime you type in a keyword, uh, we uh, as Google, we have crawled, we've gone out and crawled and stored billion, copies of billions of web pages in our index and we take the keyword and match it against web pages and rank them based on over 200 signals. Things like relevance, freshness, popularity, how other people are using it. His elusive answer may have soothed Democrats, but Republicans weren't buying it. Texas Republican Lamar Smith. I think humans can manipulate the process. But there was bipartisan agreement on one issue, Google should not work with China on a censored search engine, a topic Pachai repeatedly danced around. Congressman, at the outset, uh, right now we have no plans to launch in China. Congressman, uh, we right now there are no plans for us to uh, launch a search product in China. And there was one more issue on lawmakers' minds, a New York Times report that Android is collecting and sharing mobile phone location data without users' consent. Does Google know through this phone that I am moving over there. I, it's yes or no. I wouldn't be able to answer without looking at... Uh, you can't say yes or no. One more skillful dodge as Google faces yet another hot button issue involving one of its widely used services.